Yo guys, M here, and welcome to a Selling Farm episode. Yes, we are back on the farm. Now, I took a short little break here between the last episode and now because I have installed the Seasons mod on my game. And I've also made my map compatible with the Seasons mod. As you can see, I used mostly giant objects, so actually it is very, very compatible. The only thing I really had to do was mess around with the snow mask. So we are here, we are on Selling Farm, it is now early spring, and if you don't know much about the Seasons mod, it brings an awful lot of depth to the game. It really does change quite a bit of the game mechanics, and I think probably the best thing to do will be to simply go through that as we go along. So as you can see at the top there, we are currently in early spring, ground temperature is 4 degrees and air temperature is 5 degrees. In fact it has just been raining, I don't know if you can see the icon there to the left, a wet crop, and because of that it's, it's basically a little bit wet. So things need to dry out as well before you can actually harvest it, so you couldn't ted grass for example, and obviously you can't harvest crops either, so quite a change there. And if we just have a look at the summary, as you can see, we have four seasons now. We have spring, we have summer, we have autumn, we have winter. And I've chosen the default of nine days per season, and we are here in early spring, so game day one to three. And as we progress, we will go through the year. But as you can see, you can only plant certain crops now at certain times of the year. You can also only harvest them at certain times of the year. You also have to pay attention to the ground temperature because you can't just plant it if it's too hard, for example, if the ground is too frozen. So you certainly have to pay attention to a lot more things now and it's going to become a lot more interesting, I think, as a game, much more of a simulation than perhaps an arcade farming game. So if you if you like the arcade sort of style farming, well, you're probably not so interested in the Seasons mod. If you're like me and like a little bit of depth, well, you might be interested in trying it. So here we are on Selling Farm, and today's work is going to be getting the ground ready. We have two fields, but the thing that the Season mod does is reset all of the fields when you first start. So we're going to need to head over to field 14 and 19 and do some ploughing. But before we do that, I do know that I am missing something. So I'm just going to take the Hurleman here, and we're just going to pop to the shop, seeing as, well, we, we started here, so let's just, um, let's just take the Hurleman. I do like the noise of this tractor. It's nice and noisy. I like noisy tractors. I'm just going to park this here because we're going to pick up something and I'm just going to, let's just switch that off let's save fuel, we're going to have to watch our money very very carefully here because the game is quite different than the base game so let's go and um, let's go to the shop and um, you know disappointingly there's never anybody here is there I mean the guy doesn't even have a computer look I mean come on there's, there's nothing on his desk yeah anyway let's um let's go into the shop and what we're going to need to purchase is something that i'm missing from my inventory and that is some kind of fertilization because obviously right now we're going to have to use some fertilizer that we purchase in order to uh, put them down on the fields we don't have any animals we don't have any manure and such to to actually use so we're going to have to use a, a fertilizer of some sort so let's have a look what we got here we've got the exacto that's six thousand three hundred uh, 700 litres and only 12 metres and also one of the mod contest uh, groups here is the Massey Ferguson collection I strongly recommend that I would say that one is a bit cheaper and does 20 metres and holds a lot more so I think we're going to go for the Massey Ferguson there isn't any others to choose from right now so let's go for the Massey Ferguson so we're going to purchase this let's just go back out of the shop and we materialize on the other side. It's quite amazing that, isn't it? So, and there it is. Here it is. So it's um, a messy Ferguson from the 80s and 90s, um, and it's obviously a fertilizer, so we can obviously put some fertilizer in it and put it down on our field. So let's, uh, let's get this on the tractor. That was badly lined up, wasn't it? Oh dear. Let's try that again. I mean, not that it matters that much, but... Yeah, let's see if that's about right. Oh, it is. Okay. That'll do for me. Let's connect that as well. 
Okay, so let's just lift that up. Now, we're probably going to need a weight on the front, but I've got one back at the farm, so let's not waste money on another weight. So let's head back to the main farm. We're going to refill it over by the farm. I don't think it's going to make a difference price-wise from here. You can also take in some of Saling Farm in its spring glory. Lots of spring bushes, trees, and everything. I should say as well, the season mod causes the grass state to reset at different times of the year. So, as you can see, all of the grass is growing at the moment. But we don't have any animals at the moment anyway to actually use grass for, so... But we could start building up a silage. Um, a bit of a collection of silage ready. It's going to come in useful. Nobody there. So, it's going to add a lot more depth to the game. It's going to certainly make it a little bit more tactical. You need to plant things at the right time of year. And right now, we're going to need to prepare the ground ready. Ready to plant something. And then we'll have to have a look what we can plant. But right now, the ground temperature is a little bit cold in this early part of the season. And I can just bring up the long-term weather forecast. Um, which, by the way, there is an unfortunateness that it... Um, messes about with the lights on the on the vehicle or, or your torch but anyway there's the long-term forecast it it looks like an awful lot of rain by the look of it um, that's not very good is it but the end of the week it looks like it's gonna be a bit sunnier and a little bit warmer so it's currently four degrees the ground temperature so that's gonna need to come up before we can start planting anyway but let's go and prepare some of these fields and um, get things going just going to turn that off again. And it's, it's annoying that, that pressing the out F causes the F to work as well. Never mind. Hopefully they'll fix that in an update. So first thing is going to be to refill this. Let's just put this here. There we go. I'm just going to switch it off and let's let that start filling up. Let's just get out. So that's going to take a little while to fill up. Meanwhile, we're going to run back over here because we're going to want to get one of the tractors with the plows. So, as you can see, selling farm early spring, disappointingly empty of animals. It's going to take a little while to get some, I think. Don't have a lot of cash from it now. And we'll need to get one of those weights when we fill that up as well. But let's take a quick shortcut here through the, through the cow shed. There isn't any cows, unfortunately. Never mind. So let's um let's take the big clouds, shall we? I think this is a pretty big mean beast and it's obviously good enough for the plow, so let's um let's take this. So first job, let's get the plow. There it is. We're gonna need to put a weight on this as well probably. It's very difficult with this Delta one to actually see with the seat there as well. Let's have a look. Oh, that's not bad at all, is it? Not bad at all. So let's lift that up. All that pulls the back of the tractor down. We need to go and get a weight. Let's go and do that before the tractor uh, slides about too much. It's a little bit... F yeah, I can feel it. There's a little bit... Front wheels are probably not touching the ground as much as we would like. So let's um let's take this red one. Let's see if we're close enough. Oh, not quite. No, no, there we go. We'll go for that. Okay, so we're going to head over to field 14, which is just over here. We have to start preparing this ready for planting. So 
So, and the reason for doing the ploughing first, I mean, it's already cultivated ready, but if I have a look on the map, I'm pretty certain that, um, yeah, everything is going to need ploughing. So we're, I think it's probably worth worth spending a little bit of time here right at the beginning just to get these two ploughed, because then we can obviously decide where we plant, uh, what we're going to plant, and uh, get the maximum yield out of the crop as well. Quite a big plow, this one. And the reason why I've chosen the uh, Klaus is, well, I kind of treated myself. I mean, there's a lot of mods I would like to purchase for this game. A lot of mods I've downloaded that are really, really nice, but we don't have the cash right now. So I thought I'd treat myself just a little bit, seeing as we kind of started the series and then had a bit of a problem with the map getting corrupted and then had to start again. So because of that, I decided to kickstart the series a little bit with a little bit more of a powerful tractor for use around the farm. It's obviously going to cost us a bit more. Um, but maintenance is different as well. I will say that. Maintenance is also different on the season mod. Uh, vehicles can now break down if you don't maintain them randomly or such and obviously they'll cost you more to repair afterwards. So it's always worthwhile repairing your vehicles. In fact, um, I'm just going to put a worker on so I can perhaps explain that a little bit more. So let's um, let's get a worker working. There we go. Then I don't have to worry about driving in a straight line. But what I just want to bring up is um, I just want to bring up the help menu because uh, unfortunately it's on the help menu. But as you can see there at the bottom of the help menu, 29.9 hours um, or 18 days until the next maintenance is required. So you have to pay a lot of attention to that. Make sure that you uh, make sure you keep your machinery nice and uh, nice and maintained. But obviously, uh, other things such as uh, implements and such, they obviously don't. Uh, they will be automatically maintained. It's uh, all the motorized things, drivable things that uh, require some maintenance. So I'm actually going to hop out here because I have a feeling this tractor might be in the way. No, no, he's fine. Okay, well, we'll leave him doing that. That's a big plow, that is. But the map is looking very pretty in spring, I will say that. It certainly looks different. The only thing on my entire map that I haven't worked with yet is to convert this bush into a Seasons compatible bush. And um, it's a default bush at the moment. It's always going to be looking like this. So it's kind of an evergreen bush, which is okay in the winter. I don't mind it at the moment. It's it's evergreen. Some bushes do stay green all year round. So it's okay. But what I am going to do is look at the texture replacement and try to make this compatible with the seasons mod. So that'll mean that it will change the textures based on which season we're in. Because as you can see right now, we have all this lovely new growth on all the plants and trees and all these light colors. And obviously the daylight uh, cycle is also different in the game for the Seasons mod, so um, there's going to be a lot of lot of depth coming our way. So we're going to use the fertiliser here once this guy has got far enough. In fact, I think we can actually start, because I think it won't matter. So let's just let's put that on. Back up a little. I think it won't matter, because I think uh, even though it's cultivated, because it hasn't been planted, um, it's still going to count. Now, this can do 20 metres, so it's quite big. That wasn't a bad. That's not bad. That's about right. If we can keep it in a straight line. So he's carrying on doing that. Obviously, right now, we've only got two fields, not a lot of cash. So, every bit is going to count, so let's not, uh, let's not waste our cash, and also, let's make sure that we get maximum yield out of the fields. So that we don't, uh, don't waste our efforts here, because... Obviously, harvesting and planting now is not going to be as regular if we're going to have to have that many game days in between. Oh dear, I think we're going to have a, a game of chicken here.
possibly. No, that was lucky. Right. He probably doesn't care. It's my machinery, yeah, so... he just break that. He doesn't care. He's just going to take his money. And while we're talking about workers, or poking fun at them, they've also changed the price of the workers. So if you employ somebody before 6 o'clock in the morning, or after 6 o'clock in the evening, or at weekends, it's going to cost you 50% more. So that's going to be very, very expensive. So, obviously you need to do it on working days, and um, not employ too many of a weekend. It's going to cost a lot of money. Um, it'd be okay if we had a lot of money, but we're just starting out. We only have 31,000. We don't have a lot. Um, we still have the loan to sort out. Need to get rid of that and pay it off. However, they have changed some of the equity, though, because the loan cap has been removed, and now you can obviously have a bigger loan based on the equity of all your assets. So that's a little bit more realistic. And obviously gives you the freedom to uh, take out a bigger loan. But of course, loans are bad things, let's be honest. It's going to cost you money in the long run. And uh, you really don't want to be doing that. If you can if you can work in the black without lots of credit, then, then you're going to be fine. But obviously, at first days of the farm, you might need to have a little bit more, a little bit more uh, loan so that you can get that equipment. So, I believe they've also adjusted the daily costs of the vehicles. I haven't looked to see what our, our current daily costs are, but I believe they've adjusted that as well. In fact, they've adjusted an awful lot of things, actually, in the game, as I can read on, on their blog. I mean, these guys have done a really good job. I'm, I'm really, really impressed. It's a really, really good mod. Whoops. Too far. So, if you don't feed your animals now, they will actually die. Yes, so they will de decrease in population, so you really do have to make sure you take care of your animals. But we're not at the point yet to heavily invest in lots of cattle and sheep and pigs right now. It's gonna, it takes a lot of setup to run that operation, lots of uh, equipment needed in order to uh, in order to get it going. So um, I think what we're going to do is leave him ploughing away on this field and we're going to head over to 19 and we're going to put some fertiliser down there. So like I said, I'm not ready to start with animals just yet. It's going to take a little while. Just like potatoes and sugar beets require you to have some good machinery to harvest them and such, so I'm not going to get into that right now. And if there's enough support for this map, if people really do like this, then I will try to make this available. I'll see if I can host it on ModHub, on the ModHub, maybe see if Giants will accept it. Or I can obviously put it somewhere else. And I've just realised the, <laughs> the tractor's moving around badly because we forgot to put the weight on the front. Oh dear, no wonder it's, no wonder it's behaving a bit badly. Like I say, if enough people like the map, then I might uh, do the extra effort to try and get it out. Because I think a lot of people do like the Sosnovka maps. They did like the uh, the wide open spaces. Um, especially if you're using things like the Big Bud, you're going to want big space, lots of... You don't want one of these maps that's really, really fine and delicate, because it's no good for big machinery. Oh, I was too far over. Try better on the next one. And obviously, based on Solznovka, this map has uh, a lot of potential for big, wide open spaces and lots of placeables as well. I've deliberately made some areas around the map for placeables. That's not bad. That's about right. I'm quite impressed. It's using the full width. Not easy. It's not an easy thing to line up, it really isn't. 20 metres or so. Oh, bush. We can drive through it, but more fun to go around it. I've gone too far now. We stalled it. 
Okay. When I say stalled it, I meant I pressed the wrong button. Yes, I know. Well, if you know me from all my series, you know sometimes I have this habit of pressing the wrong button. What can I say? It happens. I could edit it out. I'm a transparent kind of guy. I don't do that. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake. I'm human. I'm not a robot. I don't think I'm a robot. No, I'm not a robot. Everyone makes mistakes. Anyway. So, we're going to need to get this one ready. I mean, it's almost almost ready then for ploughing. I think we're going to need to get the guy over here ploughing it when he's done over there. But uh, I can see that right now, these early stages of the game, I'm going to have to try and figure out what it is I'm going to be doing because right now, we don't have a lot of fields. So, the Seasons mod will probably work very well if you've got an up-and-running farm with lots and lots of fields. But if, like me, you're just starting off and you've got just two fields and not a lot of cash, it's going to be a bit limiting. So I didn't really want to have to uh, use the use a lot of the. Oh dear, we did it again. I'm put off by the map there. There seems to be no grass. I'm not sure what happened then? We'll have to have a look at that. Confusing myself now. So yes, so if you've got a lot of uh, a lot of farming, a lot of money, um, and a lot of fields, then obviously you can run at one time speed. Myself, um, just put the, put the lid on. I normally run at just one time speed, but I can see with the seasons mod, in order for us to move on, it's going to have to be changing the time. There are some other things we can do right now, anyway. I'll take this back to the farm first. And I'm going to try and keep all of these episodes to around about half an hour. Um, and not, not so long as I've made before. Now, I don't know if I've said, but there's another mod that I really do like. And that's the self-cancelling indicator. So, I like that mod. So you can use the indicator such as that, as soon as you straighten up, it automatically switches off. How nice is that? It's a bit of a hill, this. Let's have a look how far he's got. Oh, let's not play chicken again. I think you'll win. He's about halfway. But meanwhile, we're going to get rid of this... Uh, fertilizer. Now, normally I would have gone and filled this up again, but right now I'm watching every every little bit of money, so I don't really want to waste cash f filling this up unnecessarily. It's 57% um, full at the moment, so... And we've only got two fields as it is, so... No need, I think, to fill it up right now. I can see the sunshine is helping, look, it's bringing up the air temperature. It still says wet crop though. So we're going to put this next to this cedar, I think. There we go. Just put that down. Take that off, disconnect that, and that's one fertilizer. Now, we're going to need to probably do some cultivating, so I'm wondering if this Herleman is up to the job. I'm hoping it is. This, uh, this cultivator looks quite big, but I think the Herleman is the next biggest tractor I've got at the moment. I've got a tiny little one, and, and this one. Ooh, I still know. Let's have a look. It's not bad, I mean, I've done worse. 
I mean, you don't need to be so close in order for it to actually connect. You can be a lot further away, but I'm, I'm going for a little bit of realism. I'll try to do it as well as I can. So let's um, connect that up. Oh, it does seem to have pulled the back down. Let's go and get a weight and hope that it's enough to keep the tractor on the way. Oh, the steering has become very light. We've got another one here. And you'll notice I've been very cunning. I've kind of hidden them next to the other barrels. The old castrol. Um, that's bad. Sorry. <laughs> that again. Well, that's, that's even worse the other way now. There we go. That's not so bad. Hopefully that'll make a bit of a difference. So let's head back to field 14. Wasn't bad, was it? A little bit off. I think. Just a little bit. Let's just try, shall we? Yep, it's able to pull it. So that's good. Although, I can see that we've just gone totally off. My bad. I need to stay there. Now, it looks like we might have to fertilise this again. Oh dear, I didn't think he was going to do that. Let's just have a look here at the fertilisation. No, it did actually fertilise it, but he's ploughing it away and it's actually changing colour again. Very odd. I don't know if you can see there, it, it looks a bit lighter where he's ploughed it, uh, as compared to where we had fertilised it, but it looks to me like it's okay. Well, we'll go with that. Hopefully. Hopefully that's fine. I'm just going to need to do another fertilisation, I think, then. So it's early spring and we're going to probably be doing a lot of groundwork. Getting these up and running. We couldn't plant anything right now anyway. It's too cold. I'm just going to switch that off for a second. We couldn't plant anything right now because it's far, far, far too cold. So um, we're going to need to, to work on that. I mean, if we have a look at the... Uh, if we have a look here, we could plant barley, wheat or canola, 5 degrees. Um, potatoes, we don't really want to get into these right now. Um, poplars, we can plant pretty much all year except winter. But we don't have any forestry equipment, so that's going to be a bit tr tricky. But obviously in the winter months, it'll make it useful to be able to do forestry so that you can actually harvest trees and uh, make some money during those winter months. So, um, the other thing I was just going to look at was... Uh, I was going to look at my financial overview here. Um, have a look at the cost... Okay, so costs mm, it's quite a bit of money there. It is costing me quite a bit this uh, this Klaus. That's quite a lot of uh, expense there, along with the harvester. That's also quite a bit of an expense, and it's not a very big harvester, so it's going to take us quite a bit, quite. A
quite a bit of time to use that. And, well, we currently have a, a loan as well. We need to sort this out. Um, as soon as we can, we need to repay some of this. And uh, right now, the fertilizer, that cost us nearly 2,000. Fuel is uh, costing us a bit of money. That must be the farmer worker. And uh, obviously, we're paying him as well, so that's costing me a bit of money. But it, um, it doesn't seem to be going up as fast as it does in the base game. Um, at least, I don't think it is. So, animals we haven't got to yet, so we're going to have to work on that. And, um, yes, it's going to take a bit of time to get 14 up and running and 19 up and running. And in the meantime, I might have to do some missions for some of the different farmers, just so that I can actually earn some cash. But um, this is probably going to be a good place to stop this video. It's around about the half hour mark. And we'll pick it up in the next one. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon. Thank you.